hello viewers on youtube in today's video i'm going to share with you how i use this piece of uh, bag rubber into a core in our generator all right so first i measured seven centimeters seven centimeters so i cut two pieces like this seven centimeters all right then i cut round shaped plastic so we can use them as the holder just as you see there so because you cannot use the whole seven centimeter to wrap the wire so in that seven centimeter which is this one from here to here is seven centimeter from the end to another end seven centimeter but now i cannot just wrap the wire in the whole space okay so I measured 40 centimeter from another holder to another holder see that so the space from here to this side the shape of this wire is 40 millimeters not 40 centimeters sorry it's 40 millimeters all right so that's how i cut these so now let's keep these metals aside all of this now let's explain the size of wire these are the same okay don't worry it's the same so inside here we have two windings please understand there we have two windings the first winding which is inside is made of this one millimeter wire okay and i made you can see how thick it is it is very thick all right so the first winding it was going this direction right you can see how i end up with this wire right here is it the same one yeah right here i was going this way clockwise and i made 500 tens understand that 500 tens clockwise and there is another small wire the thin one which is 0 0.3 mm all right and i was uh winding it and clockwise okay remember the first one was going this way and the second one was coming backwards okay so we have two windings and this thin one it also has 500 tens understand so 500 tens the thick one and another 500 tens to the thin one same thing to this side you can see and this one is showing nicely than that there you go face on top is a thin one and inside we got thick all right so we also have 500 tens of this and another 500 tens of thin wire all right so now just to check the resistance but we're gonna use this uh, the buzzing point right there make sure that there's no mistake here another end in this end okay that's a thick one now coming to the thin right there and here check this that's a small right the small wire which is the thin one see there okay it does like that sometimes it can go up go down and check if i move the magnet on front of this see that all right now let's go to 200 volts ac 200 volts let's see what happens 
when we move the magnet on front of this coil uh, make sure here connect it properly okay see that we are able to make 0.4 voltage AC band not DC all right that's the thin coil now let's connect in a in series with a big wire I believe this uh, this end has to meet yeah this one has to meet this end right here right and now output will be this one now we connected all of them in series so now let's see the results remember we are making 0 0.4 or 0 0.4 with a thin wire only now let's see We can see we're making about 0.9. Oh, oh my god! Oh, sorry for that. Okay. Oh my god! You know what? Let me just pause this. Anyway, I hope you saw that 0.9. All right. Now let's keep these guys aside and this aside. Let's arrange. The magnets we're using these magnets they're new in action just find them like a few days ago all right now let's put this at the middle push this a little bit okay 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 and we need you here right Okay, to make it easy, I'm going to put six poles of magnets in here. All right. I'm going to pause the video and arrange six, uh, six poles of these magnets. Okay, done. I know <laughs> that's not fair. I said six poles and now I ended up making eight poles because I can see... Uh, our rotor here this thing here is big that it can fit eight poles all right so forgive me for that now we have eight poles ns 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 eight poles right now it's time to arrange the all of this stuff so this is going to come here on this side will be here all right this will come right there and this will come right here okay all right everyone now looks like it's dry we put the space of a ruler okay now you can see it's spinning properly it's not touching this side or another side all right now the moment of truth Let's see if we can be able to power something or how much voltage we are getting. First, this one. All right. See that? It's hand rotation. But five volts. Okay, let's try faster. Ooh, nine volts. Eleven volts. Wow. Okay. Okay. That side we're getting about twelve volts. All right. Now let's see this side. Mm. 
see that the same thing so 12 volts 12 to 12.5 volts okay so that's each and every coil separately all right so what if now we can connect in series if we are getting 12 to 13 volts in one side but if we can connect in series let's see so this is going to be like that go behind and now this will be connected right here okay reconnect right i think i made it right okay now let's see yes 21 volts with just hand rotation all right so now let's see if we use the rope <laughs> if you're not gonna mess up use the rope to spin it how much voltage we can get don't worry i'm gonna be gentle so that oh, this thing you cannot jump out from there and this at least move to 250 volts right ready pulling okay for the something but i'm not using the whole power to pull this you know remember what happened last time this thing came out so it's not fully secured but all i need is to make at least 55 volts because if we make 55 volts then i know i know we're going to power something big all right anyway this time i'm gonna try to use a little bit force okay not so much but just a little bit force please 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 yes i will reach 50. all right i know that 50 we can be able to power something direct on this let's see if i am right okay right here and this right here if this light bulb is not going to come on you know what i'm going to stop i'm not going to continue this video all right ready guys oops okay i hope that's enough hey <laughs> ready ah, i knew it all right so looks like we don't need a transformer then we don't have to upgrade the voltage the voltage is fine let's try well maybe let's not be happy because we power this light bulb let's go for the 20 watts we have 20 watts right here see this one this is microwave light bulb 20 watts let's see if we can be able to power it 20 watts huh. okay okay Okay. 
Right. Ready? 20 watts. We're going to power it. One way to find out. Ooh. You can see that. Let's connect these 55 watts. 55 watts. Let's see if we are going to make it. <laughs> 55 watts. Okay. Here, connected. And right here, connected. We have nothing under here, guys. Okay. I know there's a lot of trust issues out there. Hey, <laughs> check in the comment. A lot of trust issues, but anyway. Yeah. That's how it is sometimes. Just need to understand it. Okay. There's our machine. Let's check. It's on. Right. So when we succeed it. You're gonna see it it'll be dancing or moving there i hope most of us we know the mouse sander what it does when it's on all right well i believe this is enough okay a little bit there right moment of truth scared ready <laughs> you see that guys yes i believe you saw it okay one more time oh yes all right people you know what ah we know more gonna upgrade our voltage we're good we're good and you know what i think we have to make to finish up this video by uh, running this in full speed and see how much voltage we can make maybe next we're going to power something like more than this 55 watts because i can see ah it's a great project all right thanks for watching guys please if you're new don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like. See you in next video. One more time before we go. Let's see this baby dancing. Wait, wait for it, wait for it, wait. We almost. All right. Ready to see the baby dancing? Please, please, I'm going to repeat this. Do not touch these outputs. Okay, it's danger. Okay, please, if you decided to do this project, do not underestimate this power, the output from there. Okay. All right, thanks.